Alright, here we go. Guest instructors, Brad Wilson, Brad McHenry. Two studs I've been training with for a very, very long time. Brad's from Gracie Sports with Marcel Strombowski down in Norwalk, Connecticut. Brett is with uh, Helsing Gracie. If you don't know who either one of those guys are, you have problems and shouldn't be doing jiu-jitsu. All right, go. Morning, guys. Merry Christmas. Um, happy holidays. Eight o'clock. Festivus. Happy Festivus. Happy Kwanzaa. Hanukkah. Uh, guys, here's a little uh, setup I like from, from guard, uh, from this armor cross guard that a position a lot of guys play that uh, works real well if you're not a real strong, big, scary looking dude. Uh, I know I am, but if you're not, you can use it too. Let's go. So, guys, let me close guard here. All right. The idea is that I've got to get his arm across his body. I got an arm drag here, all right? Again, there's a million different ways you can do this. That's a whole video or a whole probably series of videos in itself. But the idea is this arm has to cross this center line, this imaginary center line, all right? So the easiest way for me as a smaller guy to make this guy give me his arm is to start attacking his neck, is to start bugging his neck, really commit to it here. So this arm comes off of the body a little bit and I can simply Scoop my hip away so he falls into this valley here. His arm falls right into this valley. Alright? So I'm going to attack the neck, sit up a little bit, really start bugging him a little bit. When he starts to either defend his neck here or this arm here, boom, I'll scoop my hip away. Or even if his elbow simply comes up from his body a little bit here, that's all I really need to move my hip and just shuck his arm over here. As long as it's in the space here, I'm going to simply sit up now on my elbow a little bit, come over, and just hug his lap. I'm just going to hug my chest right under his shoulder, okay? Just like that. Once I have this on the trap, it's very difficult for Brett to get it back, all right? Brett can put it on back, please. It's very tough, guys. And all I'm doing again, no strength at all on my end. I'm simply pushing my chest forward and giving Brett a hug, all right? So again, different angle. We're here. I'm simply bugging his neck. If this arm comes to his neck to defend it, which is in itself sort of a mistake, but a lot of guys will do that. They'll bring this arm up. Even easier. I just drop him in the valley here. Right. And then how you got me this morning was you are threatening my arm with the arm bar. Yep. So then one I snap and I one here. here. Anytime it comes up, I just move yeah. you can Any way you want to arm drag, it doesn't matter, guys. I like to bug the neck. You can attack the arm. You can fake the sweep, whatever you like. Getting his arm across the body, and I'm simply sitting up and hugging him here. All right, guys, once we're here and he's trapped, I have a myriad of different options as far as the finish goes, all right? But let me show you one of the more, co more common responses here, all right? Obviously, there's sweeps, there's triangles, there's arm bars. But what the guy will try to do when this arm is trapped nine times out of ten is he'll try to pull it out like that, all right? Just like that. It's a common reaction to this problem. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to be ready for that. I'm going to be here, all right? I feel him start to work that arm out. I'm going to let him work it out. As he does, my leg is simply going to come over his head and clamp down. Just like that, all right? Again, from here, I'll reach up and hold my own foot. One of our toes or whatever you can get. And I'll lock the triangle. All right, obviously his arm is not across the body, so I can lift my hips now. And adjust in here as long as I'm holding, I can walk my body out. My foot on the mat, my foot on his hip, whatever you like. Boom, all right? So again, we're here. I arm drag him. Hugging him tight, all right? Again, good seal here, good connection with my chest on the shoulder, all right? When we're here and I'm working for the sweep or whatever, or the bump or the push, I know Brent is going to want to pull his arm out. As he does, as that arm comes out, my leg comes over the top. One more time, just that detail, please. As his arm comes out, my leg comes over the top. It's right there. I'm simply going to hold my foot, adjust, put my hip out. Squeeze the knees together, toes up, and finish the triangle. All right, one more time. Okay, please. All right, again, so we're here. Brett's in my guard. I can attack his arm, I can fake the arm, I can attack his neck, and get him to defend it. Drop him in the space. I reach up right away, guys. I don't want him to pull that arm back. On my elbow, I give him a hug here. Push my chest forward, right into the tricep. All right, he might try to push it back. But nine times out of ten, he's going to try to rip the trap arm out. As he does, I come over the top and I just Clamp down on his neck. Reach up and hold my foot. My hip comes out. I'm going to lock the triangle. If the arm is over here, guys, you can still finish it, or you can lift your hips and adjust his arm if that's better for you. Toes up. Three pressures, right? Toes up, knees together, and down. All right? Beautiful.
Joe. Yeah.